To the incredible story now, and an Oregon hiker rescued after three grueling nights in a forest. Pamela Salant falling 50 feet from a cliff, breaking her leg, maybe more. She survived in the wilderness by eating beetles and berries for days. And just when her family was about to give up hope, they got the miracle they had been praying for. And our cameras were there. Bob Ward from our affiliate WFXT has more. Hello. For three days, Jane Salant of Holliston has been waiting by the phone, waiting for word of her lost daughter. Never in a million years would I have dreamed of this happening to us. It's, it's very surreal. Saturday afternoon, 28-year-old Pamela Salant got lost in the Mount Hood, Oregon wilderness near Bear Lake. Her boyfriend said they separated looking for a campsite. I went around one way, she went around the other. I thought she did, but she actually didn't. And... That was the last I saw of her. And it was the last anyone saw of Pam until late Tuesday afternoon and a call from a sheriff on the West Coast breaking the news. You might have located her. We're not sure, but it might have happened. Um, what did they tell you? He said there's uh, not much, but that she was waving from a creek bottom to the helicopter. So I don't know. He's 50% he's sure. So we're waiting for the call. Oh, gosh, this is amazing if it's, if it's really true. I, I really don't want to get my hopes up. Completely, but I'm, you know, hoping. For a full agonizing half hour, Jane Salant and her family fielded phone calls from Oregon. People close to Pam telling the family that Pam was found, but there was no official word. And Matt has um, pretty much 100% confirmed that it's Pam, but I'm still waiting for that sheriff. The family could not see this the dramatic Black Hawk recovery of a young woman discovered at the bottom of a ravine a mile and a half from where Pam was last seen. At the Holliston home, they prayed, prayed for a miracle. And soon, Pam Salant's family got that miracle. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Is she okay? I just feel like a big, huge weight has been lifted off my shoulders. Um, I, I'm not shaking anymore. I've been shaking for the last 48 hours. And um, it's, it's a huge relief. Joining us now live on the phone, Pamela Salant's mother, Jane. She comes to us on the phone from Massachusetts. And Jane, all we can say is that everybody who watched the story and prayed for you all is so excited. You must be so relieved. We yeah, are extremely relieved. Um, we just uh, can't describe how happy we are. Uh, we're getting ready to go out there. In fact, in a couple hours, we'll be catching a plane from Boston going out to Portland and uh, visiting her as soon as we can. And the best news of all, of course, is that she's found, she's alive, but we do know that she was injured and she was an absolute fighter doing everything she could to survive. Uh, can you update us on how she's doing physically? Well, we talked to her last night and we found out that um, she does have her left leg is broken and will require surgery, which she is having on Friday. Um, and she said that her back is broken, uh, although that was a surprise to her. She didn't realize that it was broken. It just hurt, but uh, to me that sounds like it may not be as bad as it could for a broken back. Um, her right leg has a big gash in it, and she's covered all over in scratches. Um, but other than that, you know, they, she's been given a good amount of uh, pain medicine. To take away some of the pain, but she was able to, you know, uh, hold hold out for the three days. And um, she told us that she uh, she drank uh, a lot of water, which probably kept her alive. She uh, ate bugs and berries. And at night, when it got cold, since she only had a tank top on and a pair of shorts, she covered herself in moss to keep warm. Well, it sounds like she knew exactly what to do to survive until she could be found. Uh, knowing your daughter like you do, do you think she's going to continue when she heals up to go on other adventures? Is that her style? I think she will. I think she'll be much more cautious, but I don't think she's going to rule out doing more hiking and camping because uh, that's what she loves. She just really loves that, and uh, I think she will after she um, heals. It's going to take some time, but... Well, everyone's prayers will continue to be with your family and with her. Jane Salant, we couldn't be happier for the ending of this story for you. Safe travels. Thank you very much.